a lot of people here on the carpet about, mm -hmm. you know, who they would put their money on. Uh-huh. It's pretty even so far. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Who would you put your money on? Well, I mean, I'm I'm dressed in green. Mm. Well, I'm dressed in black, so I can really vote for anyone. That's true. I mean, I would go Thor because I would go Thor. <laughs> Isn't that the greatest reasoning? <laughs> That's pretty much the only reason you need. Right. Um, yeah. But I mean, he's a god. You can't go wrong with a god. That You know, funnily yeah. enough, that has actually been the remark of most of the people mm -hmm. who said Thor, because he's a god. He's the god of thunder. So we're going to vote for a god. God trumps smash. It, it's like rock, paper, scissors. We're going to make our own, which will be like uh, uh, god, smash, or antlers. There you go. And then you see how, now, how it see, works. We're, I don't know. See, it's very tempting. If we're, if we're throwing Hela in there, mm. it's very tempting just to vote for Hela. <laughs> well, I mean, not for her, because, you know, I don't want the destruction of Asgard. Mm, I don't want right. But she's so amazing and compelling that I'm completely drawn into her just, spell. Oh, ah! well, hello. Hi. 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 Welcome. Hi. Welcome. How are you? Uh, Lorraine. Oh, Tamara. Tamara. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're good. You have a really yeah. good memory. Well, uh, we've met before. We have, we have. So are you getting into any mischief yet? Now? Yes. Um, n not specifically, unless you include like hiding behind you just then. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, then fairly tame thus far. Tame. Yes. yes. I don't yeah. know. We could take us as like the kickoff of the mischief, just like a small step into the mischief what, arena. What would you recommend for mischief tonight? I mean, there's a lot of mischief happening. Taika Waititi is here. That's so, true. So he brings the mischief himself, you know. Maybe, sure. wait a minute, maybe maybe y'all were miscast. Maybe he should have been Loki and you should have been Cork. Listen, I don't know if you've seen the, the B-roll of Taika Waititi wearing the uh, Loki horns. There was a lot of that about, you know. Really? I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Um, no, it, it, there is one Korg and his name is Taika. That's for sure. There you have it. Did you get into a lot of mischief on the set? Did you enjoy sort of the freeness that you had working with him? Yeah, I really did. It was um, his his freedom at work and his invention is, is an amazing thing to behold because there's nothing there's, he creates so much time mm -hmm. and making movies is always a limited time even on a big one you think you have more time but you've always got to get shoot the scene and move on and with Taika he just created space for every actor to feel free to play and free to invent and free to come up with stuff and um, I was in awe of everybody else, actually. I, I, there was a take watching Jeff Goldblum uh, extemporize for 25 minutes. Uh, it's one of the funniest things I've ever seen. <laughs> and, I, and I sort of wish it was in the movie, but it can't be. No. Now, do you get nervous as an actor doing so much improv on set because you don't know what's going to end up in the final cut? Do you want to have more control over your performances, or did you feel with Taika, I trust this guy? Oh, I completely trusted him, yeah. Um, and it was fun because it was also a different iteration of Loki and um, I didn't I was really excited about taking Loki in a new direction and sort of developing him so it wasn't the same thing you've seen before and um, and Chris and Taika and, and Kevin Feige and Ludi Esposito had said we're going to make this a funny one so it was really about chasing the humor as far as we could. Um, now, I do have to ask, do you have a little bit of a grudge against Hela? I mean, you're used, Loki's used to being the big bad villain. She's kind of stolen your colors, the green and the black. <laughs> no, I don't. Um, you know, Loki's always danced on the fault line between the light and the dark. Um, and I think he's still there, to be honest. Um, so I quite, what I quite like is that there is a there is a part of Loki that is an Asgardian. And um, uh, so, yeah, in, in the end of the day, I think Thor appeals to that part of Loki that is something bigger than a green cape and a, and a big headdress. Well, I am rooting for Loki to do the right thing, always. Good, good. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, you got to uh, inhabit Odin, or more so, Sir Anthony Hopkins yeah. got to inhabit you. Did you guys get to work together? We did, yeah. It was very, very funny, actually. Um, I think uh, Tony had a lot of fun that day. He was basically, he basically was kind of, he pushed it right to the edge. Um, and uh, I think he really enjoyed himself. I, I just said to have as much fun as you can. Loki's always having a good time. Um, and I think he did. Well, yeah. we certainly had a good time watching you. We can't wait to watch more of you.
Thank so you. much. Enjoy tonight. You. you guys have been working hard, I think. We have, yeah. but soon we're going to get to enjoy this film, so we're pretty excited about hey, it. Me too. <laughs> I'm excited about seeing it, especially with an audience. Oh, yes. You know, because it's funny. Yeah. Yeah. That room will be filled with laughter. We guarantee it. Hope so. Thank All you right. so much. Thanks a lot. Okay. We'll see, see you in a bit. Then. Good night. That's a perfect way to.